Hey Pump House Junior friends, this is Miss Katie and I've got a fun little project for you guys today. Um, so obviously this summer is going to look a little bit different than our past Pump House Junior summers and we're going to miss you guys terribly. But of course the most important thing right now is to stay safe and healthy at home and so we have to find some creative ways to have fun. So if you'd like to learn how to make this little doorway puppet theater for yourself, then just keep watching. So there's all the materials you're going to need for your doorway puppet theater. You'll need a hot glue gun since this is a no sew version. You need your fabric for the main curtain. You need something for your backdrop. I'm just using this black felt. You need some fabric for the little curtains at the front, but those are optional. You need something to hang the curtain on. I stole this tension rod from my shower. Um, you need a dowel rod to help the curtain hang straight across the doorway and a good pair of scissors. So first you have to cut your fabric to fit your doorway. You wanna make sure that there's a little bit left over on both sides so it'll completely cover the opening. This will just bunch up later. All right, second thing we've gotta do is make our rod pocket for the top of the curtain. So you want to start with the front side of your fabric facing down on the table. I've folded the edge in a little bit to give you a nice clean edge on the pocket there. Make sure you check to with your rod to make sure it's gonna be big enough for the rod to fit into it. I've marked this spot with a pin. Then you're just going to go down the line of the pocket with some hot glue and just glue this line here. And you can use a yardstick or a ruler to make sure that the whole pocket is the same size. Okay, let me just double check. It's good. All right, I'm just gonna fold this down and do a little line of hot glue, like so, like that. And then just kind of tap it down very carefully so I don't burn my fingers. Ta-da! Now we just gotta figure out how big we want our opening to be. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use this cutting board. I think that looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna mark with a pin how far down from the top I want it to be, and then we'll go cut it out. All right, so I've got my fabric laid out with the pretty side down, so I'm marking on the back side. I used my yardstick to measure and make sure my cutting board was the same distance from the top as well as both of the sides. I use a pen to outline it, and then you cut it out. And I added these little notches at the corner so I can flip this edge over and hot glue it down to give the front a nice edge. The next step is to add your backdrop to hide whoever is puppeteering in the back. So what I did is just cut this piece of black fabric wide enough that it's gonna go a little bit extra over the sides, long enough that it's gonna cover the opening, and then I just hot glued it across the top. And this is how it should look on the front. Now, if you wanna get really creative, you or your kids could paint a backdrop here on this fabric. You could do some grass, maybe a blue sky, some mountains, whatever you want your backdrop to look like. All right, next, we've gotta add the pocket for the dowel rod to help it hang straight. All right, so I made my dowel rod pocket. I ended up using my sewing machine, but you can achieve the same thing with hot glue, or you could hand sew it if you want to. Um, all you have to do is put your right sides of the fabric together, fold it across, and do a line of sewing or hot glue, so you end up with a pocket that you can put your dowel rod in. So this is how our doorway puppet theater looks so far. As you can see, I cut my backdrop piece of fabric a little bit short, so we've got a happy little space right here, but that's totally fine. Now, you can leave the doorway puppet theater just like this, or you can add some little curtains to the front, which is what I'm gonna do. So this is how my doorway puppet theater turned out. Yay, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's cute. I think my little brother and sister are gonna have fun telling stories with it. Well, now it's your turn. Go ahead and get creative, make your own theater, grab some puppets, and reenact a scene from your favorite show or a movie or write your own story. Um, please share pictures or videos with whatever you come up with and tag the Pump House players in it because I would love to see what you guys create. 
Have a great summer and we love you guys and we'll see you soon.